All right, we're going over the theme options panel, and I kind of was rushing through the logo, so I wanted to kind of hit on it again because it's so key. So let's go and just upload another logo, and I'll go over how to adjust things. So I have a giant logo from another theme that I'm going to use. So I uploaded it, and then you just make sure you click full size just in case you haven't because these will kind of resize them. So click full size and that'll just make sure it isn't resized or anything. It'll just upload your size. Click use this image. And then um, you'll need to plug in what the logo width was. And let me actually check <laughs> in Photoshop real quick what my logo width is. So it's 240. And this will be a giant logo. So uh, I'm gonna save it and you'll see how it affects our theme. And, You'll notice that everything kind of resizes automatically. See what I mean? It kind of just made it uh, the top bar really big. But, excuse me, don't worry. Um, you see how the navigation isn't quite filling this top bar. Excuse me. Well, don't worry. This next option right here, navigation height, sorts it out. So, what you can do here is just type in your logo height since your logo's the highest point. So I'm going to go and just look up my logo height again because I don't have it memorized. It's 136. So if I type in 136 and click save, it'll now make my navigation see how it's stretched all the way. So now it fills up the whole top bar. So it's just kind of a cool thing. Um, let me show you exactly the same thing. Let's say your logo is really small and I can manually resize it here. Let's say it's really tiny. I want to make this one real small. See how it's too small? And let's say you want to adjust navigation so it's not as tall. All you can do is all you need to do is just type something in like 70. And you can you, it doesn't need to be the logo height. I was just using that as a reference point. So see how we made the, the navigation shorter um, to kind of get closer than logo height. You get the idea. Um, you can just adjust the navigation height. And essentially you want the navigation to be the tallest because um, as you can see it's you want it to touch the top and the bottom but um, yeah so you can just kind of play around with that and adjust your logo a little bit if you have a real small one but um, it should be really easy to set and adjust the header area yourself within these these three options just uploading and setting your logo within navigation height and then we have some body fonts right here or some font and this just gives you a easier way um, instead of having to open up the style.css file to adjust the custom fonts and then I kind of have notes to show you where they are like one of them is a page title so right here's the page title and caption font and stuff um, so um, you can adjust those and then um, you know obviously if you have a Google fonts uh, custom font you would need to also include the style sheet and you can just you would have to include that in the header.php file Google would provide you the style sheet um, you could just look online for any resources they'll have plenty of tutorials to do that but the cool thing is we provide you with a shortcut so you would just type in your custom font name right here and that would do all the heavy lifting for you next one we have is tools and the top two are basically sort of SEO um, they're just to help you out so by default your title is called just another WordPress site which is the title of your site under I believe it's settings in general tagline so you can adjust that manually and overwrite it here and your meta description if you wanted um, it's just kind of a handy way of doing it obviously if you wanted to get really deep in SEO just download a plugin like from wordpress.org for SEO and you'll be able to do these same things on every page but we kind of want to just build in this this shortcut um, as some people you know want just a quick way to adjust the home page then we have tracking code if you have Google um, Google Analytics you can just type it in there and just ignore don't type in the script tags they're automatically put in you would just type in your Google Analytics code and same with CSS and JavaScript these are just kind of quick ways um, to kind of get around. If you have a little line of CSS you want to drop in the theme, but you don't want to um, edit any style sheets, you can put it in there. And then sliders or slider options. 